Last inning with two on, that means Soto leads off, and Alex Cobb, pitching at his third inning, starts him with strike one. That was a big out to get for Alex Cobb, with Torres at the plate and the muscle coming up behind him. Yankees have stranded four. They had two on, nobody out in the first, couldn't score. Back-to-back -back singles with two outs in the second, and couldn't score. The 1-1. One, one. You saw that stat on the bottom a minute ago. If you're 8 for 12 off someone, Ronnie, what, what do you think as a pitcher? Oh, as a pitcher? Yeah. Well, your competitive view says, <laughs> I'm getting this guy out. What does the brain say? <laughs> oh, boy, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Cobb deals a 2-1. Soto, a high drive. Right center field. Win beating it up. And it's going to defy the win. A home run by Soto. Towering drive. Piercing that win coming in. Juan Soto puts the Yankees on the board in the third inning. And his ownage of Alex Cobb continues. Nine for 13 now, three home runs off Alex Cobb. 2 1 sinker. Try to run this one in on back over the middle part of the play. 310 off the bat. You said a 387 through the win. Wow. The problem with Cobb against the left handed hitters so far, Frenchie, is that it's not a sinker. It's kind of a two seamer that's running horizontally across the dish, so it's just running along the length of the bat. First postseason home run is the Yankee for Juan Soto, his eighth career postseason homer. He's 25 years old. Here's Aaron Judge. Judge, big swing, violent swing on the first pitch. Well, here you go, it's a 2 1 count. Again, so you're in a hitter's count, and that ball, like you said, Ronnie, there was no sink. It just kind of slowly came back the middle part of the plate. Total motion presented by Progressive. Pure barrel on that one, and you needed it. With those breezes coming in from right center. Here's the 0 1. Judge late on it. 0 oh, 2 the count on Aaron Judge. And that's why we talked about even that much more important. That he got Torres to ground out right there with Soto behind him. Cobb deals at 0 2, and Judge lays off the pure swing of Juan Soto. Most days, certainly every day in the summertime, you can enjoy that one all the way around. Soto. Took one peek, he knew he got it, then he he started running a little faster around first base. But he hit it hard enough. 41 home runs in the regular season. Most by a lefty since our man Curtis Granderson. 12 years ago, he hit 43 as a Yankee here. That first one always special. Soto is first in pinstripes. Three and two from 0 2 to 3 2 to Judge. And a hot one foul. Count stays at 3 2. I know our audio is hot, but the sound of the ball coming off some of these bats. A little trauma in there, Ronnie. A little PTSD. From your later days. From, from, your 19, later days. from 1995. Not the yeah. early days. <laughs> you broke a lot of bats in the early days. Do it again. Another payoff pitch. And Cobb misses. Good take by Judge. Alex Cobb giving up a home run and a walk to start this third inning. And now Stephen Vogt on his way to the mound. Taking Carl Willis with him and the athletic trainer. So this would be a visit for injury or illness. I think they've seen some drop in his velocity. Remember, he suffered through September with blister and fingernail issues. So this could be a discussion about that as well. It's been that kind of year for Cobb. He started the year on the injured list with the Giants. He had left hip surgery in the offseason. 
then endured a right shoulder injury. Guardians acquired him via trade. He had not pitched a game yet. Only three games as a member of the Guardians. And now pitching in a second postseason start this season. You know, guys, it's been kind of an injury riddled second half of his career. 48 and 35 in a Tampa Bay Ray uniform. Signed a big contract with Baltimore, and he's had lots of injuries to deal with since then. Stirring in that bullpen. That is a very good bullpen. Stephen Vogt does not want to get into that bullpen this early in this game. That was a rhythm in the DS. See that swing by Soto again. Classic left-handed home run swing. Core rotation is something special. Yeah. Travis Kelsey, wrong team. Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Austin Wells. The eighth year old Frisky up here, Jay. <laughs> just, you know, I, I'm just imagining what the conversation was like. Don't get the Swifties going against you. <laughs> no, well. That's a recommendation. I got, I got two of them in my house. <laughs> That's why I'm working for free tonight. This is the first game yeah. you're watching of you. They'll be at the concert in New Orleans. So. <laughs> She's the best. One ball, one strike on Austin Wells. Rounded out his last time up, and a chopper foul. I'd be curious to hear what Cobb kind of go because he had to really, to me, talk himself to stay in this ball game to the trainer, to vote, to Carl Willis. There's a lot of, a lot of talking out there. He knows his responsibilities. So. Yeah. And a swing and a miss. Well, strikes out on the splitter. Cobb comes back, gets a strikeout. That's his third. He's had one in each inning. So two different ways of pitching here, guys. Split finger, good one from Cobb. That's his first swing and miss. Rodon has 13. It's a little easier when you have swing and miss in your game. Cantillo loosening the lefty. Jarrah starting to throw. That was his first one. They'll need at least two batters. John Carlos Stanton flew out to left his first time up. Just missed it by a click on the bat. Sounded a little heavy and was a routine fly ball out with two runners on. Second and third at the time. Yankees on the board on a Soto homer. Keep an eye on Cobb and the way he, he grabs at his right hand on this cool windy night. Blisters on one finger, cracked fingernail on the other. And for a touch and feel pitcher, Ronnie, I can't imagine a worse injury that can still allow you to pitch, but also not give you the same kind of feel that you would normally have. You can just tell by his body language there's some frustration out there. But he's trying to gut it out, get at least through this inning. Tore the nail off that index finger in an August start. Almost hit him. Send it down to Lauren Jabara. BA talking to the head trainer for the Guardians, De Jeff Deschargens. He said the hardest thing about it is his blister is okay, his nail is okay, but it was keeping up the arm strength while he couldn't throw certain pitches in his rehab routine. He said, Really, he feels good heading into this game, and he's lucky to be able to have that. But at the same time, it was keeping that arm strength up. So heading into this one, Alex Cobb just said, I'm so lucky and so fortunate and grateful to have the opportunity to set the tone, and it's something I'm going to cherish here in game one. One of the most difficult things, isn't it, Frenchie, when you're rehabbing or trying to get an injury better, is that you can't play ball. You can't work on your game. So he's out there without the benefits of working on those mechanics working on his pitches keeping the ball where he wants to because it's got to be fine and you know hitters is one thing right you've seen great hitters take three weeks off because of something Rizzo tonight right comes right back up the middle pitchers though that is just so much more difficult big opportunity here for the Yankees Jazz Chisholm Jr. with two on one out flips one into left field gold glover Stephen Kwan is there to make the play and out number two. Looks like he was fooled on the pitch. That split finger fastball. Chisholm flies out. He's 0 for 2. And Cobb with two outs now in the third inning. 
I think uh, Chisholm was going to let Estabrook decide his fate in that <laughs> bat. He was swinging the bat. Yeah, he was rung up on a called strike three last time up. Much more aggressive second time around. That brings up Volpe now. Judge and Stanton the board. They'll be off with the crack of the bat. Volpe takes a ball. I always feel Volpe's at his best, and he was at his best early in the season this year, is when he is working the ball up the middle and the other way. If he's not, he gets rolled over in his game to the left side. Yankees have had serious traffic in every inning against Cobb. Finally break through on a leadoff home run this third inning by Juan Soto. Thing right now for Cobb with that sinker, guys, he's missing just down every time right now. Guardians have good outfield arms. All throw it well and very accurate. Best arm of the group is in right field with Noel. Lane Thomas, very fast, accurate arm. Stephen Kwan is one back-to-back -back gold gloves might be due for another this year. That is a called strike inside corner on Volpe, three and one, taking all the way. Big spot in the game early. Volpe tracks it, takes ball four. And the bases are loaded. Decision time for Stephen Vogt. Decision has been made. Stephen Vogt will take the ball from Alex Cobb. Two and two thirds innings. And the Yankees' first goal get into the Guardians' bullpen early. They've done that. We'll set up the matchup when we come back. Alex Cobb is out. Two and two thirds innings. Gives up five hits and three walks. He has walked. The base is loaded in this third inning, responsible for all three that are out there. There are two outs, however, and here comes Joey Cantillo, the left-hander, his second postseason appearance. Oh, uh, the left-hander from Hawaii, named after Joe DiMaggio. And facing Anthony Rizzo, who tracks one in a ball. What a spot for Cantillo to be in. Yankees certainly know that Yankee Stadium brings an extra presence especially the young pitchers he's got a good fastball changeup mix makes him really tough against right handers as well Cantillo the rookie made eight starts nine games came out of the bullpen in the division series in Detroit he is behind two balls and no strikes on Anthony Rizzo Runners in scoring position this postseason. Yankees have not been great. Oh, that skipped by Naylor, and this is going to bring in a run on a wild pitch. All three runners advance. Judge was off in a flash and scores the second Yankees run here in the third inning. When you're a catcher and the count is 2 and 0, you expect the ball to be over the plate. And this one wasn't even close, so no chance really for Naylor. Ball skipped right before the plate. He tried to catch it with some leather, but it flipped away. And by that time, Judge, great dirt ball read. Well, you'd like to see him block that. He just tried to pick it and missed it. Rizzo tracks another one in. It is ball four on four pitches. Into the fire. So Joey Cantillo. Bases are loaded once again. Two nothing Yankees. Space camp presented by T-Mobile, America's largest 5G network. Well, great job by Judge right there. When that ball hopped off that, he took off right away with a good secondary lead. And you know, you, you look at this, Ronnie. This feels like nerves right here. Well, nerves, and also Judge could get off so far at third base because Ramirez is playing off the line with Rizzo hitting. So that made it a bit easier. Carl Willis, who is a great pitching coach, coming out to try to settle down his young left-hander. Well, one thing the Guardians did a great job, guys, in the ALDS was two, only two out of the 17 runners inherited for these relievers score. So it was a strength for them was being able to put out fires. 
Raining out at bats right now. Lead off homer, four walks. Two runs are in. Bases loaded for Verdugo. Verdugo with a single to right center. In the second, came with two outs. He is daring Cantillo to throw a strike. He drops a nice curveball in there. His fourth major league start was here on August 21st. Four innings pitch, six hits, seven runs, seven turns. So not great memories here. Home run to Soto and Judge. Yankees walked 27 times in the ALDS, four times here, 672 on the season. Game changing moment right now, even though we're only in the third. That's a strike. Well placed fastball from Cantillo. Cantillo kind of profiles well for a Yankee lineup, though. He's left handed, he has a very good changeup at times. He deals it and it bounces by Naylor back to the screen. It goes. Stanton is in. A wild pitch. Another one. It's 3 0 Yankees. All three runners advance. The second run scores on a wild pitch. You know, if you're behind there as a catcher, whether you're on one knee, two knees, no knees, at some point when the ball is thrown in the dirt, you've got to shove your body in front of it to try to keep it in front of you if you have a runner on third. That's just. Uh, and especially in this moment right now where you've got a pitcher right out here just spiking it right now, right? You Even have to almost inspect the ball. Yeah. 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. There's the changeup. Shaky outing. To start for Cantillo, but he comes up with a strikeout. It's three nothing. Starts with a booming home run, defying the win by Juan.